Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I want to show you how to make bread. Bread is, can be so simple and so easy. So many times people think, oh, I can't make bread. I got too much to do. But honestly, I am swamped today and very little of the time is actually hands-on with bread. Most of it's just waiting for it to rise and that is not even take very long. I want to show you how to make a bread that will make a great sandwich and it's better for your family because uh, I use organic flour. I try to avoid the glyphosate, which is the Roundup. Um, I don't want pesticides and stuff in my bread. And if you check so much of it that you buy at the store, it's just full of uh, glyphosate. So we're going to get started with the bread today. Um, the first thing we're going to need is three cups of organic flour. I'm using white flour this time. Um, you can mix it up, but today I'm going to show you the basic recipe. Um, no frills, just fast, easy, delicious bread. Okay, I've got my three cups of flour in the bowl. I'm going to use about a teaspoon and a half of salt. I'm going to use A tablespoon and a half of yeast. I usually get my yeast from the Amish, but looks like I'm running low. I put it in this cheese container. It works really well, and then I keep it in the freezer. Um, to that, I'm going to take and mix up my dry ingredients in the bowl with a whisk so that everything is incorporated and so there won't be clumps of anything. All right. That looks pretty mixed up. This is such a fast recipe. You've got to try it. I'm getting some water over here because I let my water get too hot. Um, we're going to need warm water, not scalding hot water, but very warm water. So I put some regular water in here and I'm going to fill it up to the one and a half cup measure on here. And that's how much water we want. Um, Warm water is perfect, but not scalding hot water. The next thing we're going to need is about three tablespoons of oil. I use olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And then we're going to, we're going to add that to the water because we're going to want this to all, all of our liquid ingredients to be together. We're going to add about three tablespoons of honey. As you can see, I don't measure stuff. I have done this recipe so long and it's so easy and it's so forgiving. Now, because the honey sinks to the bottom, I'm gonna whisk that up so that I don't leave my honey on the bottom of the cup. And I'm gonna pour it into my dry ingredients. I'm going to stir that and scrape the sides of the bowl to incorporate it all up together. You're gonna to have kind of a shaggy dough. Um, which is good. We want a shaggy dough. Now hopefully you know, kind of like a shaggy dog, only shaggy dough. All right. You're going to be surprised how easy this is if you do it. And your family, there's nothing better than a hot loaf of bread coming out of the oven. I'm actually going to um, make this and take it when I go out of town. But one of these I'm making my daughter-in-law, she's been out of town working um, for quite a while and she's coming back today. So I'm gonna take one of these over to her house so she'll have some fresh bread when she comes in. Um, so I'm gonna scrape this out onto my flour cutting board and we're gonna knead it just a little bit. I don't know if you can see how shaggy this is. Let me get the camera closer so you can see what my dough looks like. Okay, I think you got a better view of my shaggy dough. Put lots of flour on your cutting board and then just knead it around for a little bit. Doesn't take long. I just want it to form into a nice ball. This is delicious, versatile bread. I 
All right, now I'm going to grab my clean bowl and I'll be right back. Okay, I washed my bowl. It actually gave me a chance to refill my EVOO, which I had run out of. It's no big deal because I always keep things like that that I use in a cool pantry in the basement. Um, I'm going to add some olive oil around the edges of this bowl and then just swish it around to cover the bottom like that. I'm going to take my dough that I prepared, wad it into a ball, roll it into a ball, however you want to call it, and I'm going to plop it in that bowl. Okay, that's what it looks like. All right, I'm going to cover this with a towel and I'm going to let it sit for an hour and a half. There's been times where I've had to let it sit longer and there's been times where I'm like, I can't wait any longer, I got to go, and it's risen and I take it off and uh, go with it. I go ahead and bake it and it's worked out just fine. This is, that's what I love about this. It's so forgiving. So I'm actually going to set this over on the stove and let it rise and I will set my timer for an hour and a half. All right, our bread has risen. It's all puffy in there. And now we're going to pour it out, dump it all out on our floured surface, and knead it again. Slightly. This does not take a lot of time. I'm just going to poof all the air out of it, punch it down. Just a little bit. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. Just want to get the air out. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in loaves. I have done this uh, where I use it in a Dutch oven, but I'm going to do it in loaf pans this time. Okay, I'm going to cut it exactly in half. I have two loaf pans here where I have put parchment paper. I'm going to put one of those in each one of them. And I'm going to let it rise for another hour and a half. I will set the timer and be back. I'm going to cover it too. Be sure you cover it. All right, so I had to run to the store. Um, so to make my point, these are way past time. I've let them rise probably two and a half hours instead of an hour and a half. But these look beautiful. I have preheated my oven to 425. I'm going to stick them in the oven and I'm going to put a, just lay loosely a piece of foil across the top so that they don't over brown. So I'll show you that. my timer for 25 minutes. All right, it's time to take it out. My timer is getting ready to go off. And I'm going to pull the foil off first and see if it needs to brown. But I think it's pretty good the way it is. It gets really brown if you don't uh, put the foil on top. Look at this. Can you smell it? That is amazing. There's very few times that I don't like go and grab a bite of hot bread. Um, this is awesome. And here's the second loaf. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so that was so easy. Most of the time that was spent on this was, um, let me change my camera here. I don't think you can see me. Okay, most of the time that was spent on this bread was actually just waiting for it to rise. And I can go off and do whatever. In fact, I, like I told you, I left it um, over an hour past when I was supposed to, to let it rise. And it turned out great. So um, it will cut better if you wait until it's cool and then you can get your sandwich slices off of it. Um, it makes great toast for the morning for breakfast. Um, it's delicious. So anyway, I hope you try it. I hope you can smell this. 
Thanks for joining me today. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks so much for joining me in the kitchen.